o hai. Ashkelon, a city in the southwest of Israel located on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. In 56 came from Tel Aviv, in 70 came from Jerusalem and in 65 came from Beersheba. The city on the plateau from sandstone at the height about 30 meters is located that facilitated in the ancient time his defense. The area is rich with underground waters which in the middle of the 20th century were located at a depth about 5 meters that gave the chance to grow up the gardens which weren't demanding watering. Presently, in connection with active pumping of water, the level of underground waters considerably fell. Nevertheless, the city remains one of the most green in Israel. Ashkelon has warm Mediterranean climate with solar, dry and warm summer and in the soft winter. Rains aren't enough, happen from November to March. In a year 420 of rainfall, in a year on average 33 days from at least 0 0.1 of rainfall drop up. Despite proximity to the desert, the heat in this city subjectively is almost not perceived. It has a talk, on the one hand, proximity of the sea, with his breezes and the cooling influence, and with another, the fact that the winds blowing from the stone plateau Negev. Desert. Lower humidity of air. Therefore in this area warmly, there is also neither Negev's heat, nor closeness that it is inherent in Tel Aviv because of humidity. To 2000 BB it was the big city surrounded with powerful walls. The city was so big. For the era. That later crusaders constructed the fortress on the remains of his walls. The course of history of the city was defined by seaside situation and arrangement on crossing of ancient trade routes. First, it is Viaduct Maris, a seaside trade route which conducted from Egypt and Africa to the country of Het, and then to Greece and Rome. Secondly, from Ashkelon it was possible to curtail on Viaduct Regia, a tradeway which conducted from Egypt to Babylon and Parthia. In the third, near Ashkelon there was to the coast of the Mediterranean Sea a road of aromas which conducted to the southern Arabia. In the fourth, near Ashkelon there was to the coast of the Mediterranean Sea an overland part of the road of spices by which goods further through islet to the ports of Yemen to the Indian Ocean, through Bombay in India on islands of spices went caravans through Petra and to Namadi. This connection with trade the same Semitic route. Shen Si. Meaning a measure as in a word also reflects shekel in the name of the city. For the same reason any conqueror throughout the rough history of the Middle East couldn't pass this city. The first written mention of Ashkelon belongs approximately to 2000 BB. Near the temple in Karnak, Egypt, splinters of jugs with the name of Ashkelon are found. It was the type of black magic. The name of the enemy was written on a clay product which then broke. It was considered that it is capable to cause damage to an objectionable face. Ashkelon was the most ancient and largest seaport in ancient Canaan. The archaeological excavations begun in 1985 led by Lawrence Stadger from Harvard University found about 16 meters of cultural stratifications consistently of the periods Canaanite, Philistimsky, Phoenician, Hellenistic, Roman, Byzantine, Islamic, and Crusaders. Comparison of finds from Avaris's excavation, the capitals of the Gixos which conquered Egypt and Ashkelon, gives the grounds to claim the Gixos were from Ashkelon. In the oldest layers of excavation, graves of residents of Dofinikisti Canaan. 
The city was originally built on exposures of layers of sandstone and had good underground water supply. In the period of average bronze, 20-1550, the territory of Ashkelon made nearly 50 hectares. It was rather big city for those times, from 15,000 inhabitants, surrounded with clay shaft 2.4 km long. They built about 1550 a shaft had BB height of 15 meters with a 40 degree inclination on the external line and thickness in the base is 21 meters. Ashkelon prospered during a Bronze Age, 20-1550 BC. Above shaft was supplemented by an adobe wall with the most ancient in the world arch gate. Their remains remained on height of 3.6 meters, and width was about 2.5 meters that easily allowed to pass to the chariot. On each side gate protected two towers from an adobe brick which remained on height about 6 meters. Vipness of walls was so big the brick gate of a Bronze Age had the cylindrical arch revetted with a stone and plastered similar to a tunnel to support structure of a wall. It is the oldest ever defined curved arch in the world. Shaft of a Bronze Age were so spacious that later Roman and Islamic strengthenings revetted with a stone stood on their bases, forming the extensive semicircle protecting Ashkelon from the land. From the sea the city was protected by high natural break. The first of the Egyptian military leaders who intruded in Canaan with a retaliatory expedition mines Gixos, there was Yakmoz of I which after a three-year siege raised to the ground the city of Sharkin nearby. Later the next aggressive expedition of Yakmoz reached the Phoenician city of Kedem near Bebel. Jebel. The campaigns carried not so much aggressive how many retaliatory character, but any atrocities concerning residents of Ashkel and inscriptions of his time don't report, but as his army couldn't pass the cities, probably, Yakmos couldn't take the city, and a compromise was reached. During the period since 1150 BB till 604 BB there lived Philistines. After gain by Tidle Palliser, Ashkelon fell within the sphere of interest of Entre Rios. Having used change of the power to Entre Rios, the states of Syria, Phoenicia and Palestine with assistance of Egypt formed the union against Assyria in which both Ashkelon and the Judaic Tsar Ezekiah Hiskiah participated. In 701 BB, the Assyrian Tsar Sennacherib organized a retaliatory campaign. The coalitions, many of participants. The Tsar Bibla, Jebula, Yeramelki, the Tsar of Ashidmitinti, Amon Pujul Tsar, the Tsar of Moab Kamasanapi, the Tsar Adame Arma, etc. Considered to obey and bring a tribute for the benefit. Sitka, the Tsar of Ashkelon didn't wish to be inclined before Sennacherib and to bring a tribute. In the annals of Sennacherib, are stored in the British Museum. It is written down. And Sitka, the Tsar of Scalin that it wasn't inclined under my yoke, gods of the house of his father, him, I took away his wife, sons, daughters, brothers of relatives and moved to Assyria. Sharuladari, the son Rukiti, their former Tsar, I put over Ascalon's people and bringing of a tribute, a light gift to my greatness, imposed on him, and he dragged my yoke. City of Tsitki Azusa, Beit Dagan, Nabrak and Jaffa of Sinakarib transferred to the Tsar of Ashid Mitinti. Zakia paid off with 900 kilograms of gold and 24 tons of silver. In June 604 years BB Nebuchadnezzar II at the head of the Babylon army intruded in possession of the Ashkelon Tsar Adon who didn't obey, 
and sent messengers to the pharaoh Necho II with a request for the help, but Egyptians didn't come, and in December 604 years BB Babylonians stormed Ashkelon. The city was plundered and razed to the ground. The Tsar Adon, the nobility and the escaped citizens were stolen in captivity. When in May 603 BB Nebuchadnezzar moved to Judea, the Judaic Tsar Jehoiakim taught by bitter experience of Ashkel and obeyed and promised to render tribute, without waiting for a siege of Jerusalem. Ashkelon was the important center of worship of the goddess Atagatis, legends of whom are connected with this city. After destruction of Ashkelon by Nebuchadnezzar, the city stood in ruins of 75 years. Philistines didn't return from the Babylon captivity, and the city was built up in 525 BB by Phoenicians who were lodged here by the Persians are Cambus continuing policy of the father, Cyrus and preparing base for invasion into Egypt. There was also Alexander of Macedon here. Despite the considerable Jewish population, the city it was international, Maccabeev didn't support a revolt, I remained as a part of Syria, and was a part of Judea only at the Matria three F cursed Tsars from a dynasty Selefkadav and to Alexandrian A from a dynasty Hasmoneev. For strengthening of religion in the city Alexander's brother-in-law and Salome's brother, Simeon bin Shedek, who was a head Sanedriona for only one day hung up 80 women accused of occupations by occultism without troubling himself special trials. Here Herod Iveliki who put an end to board of a dynasty Hasmoneve in Judea was born. At the beginning of the first millennium, about 104 years Ashkelon used autonomy as a part of Byzantium, but in the 7th century of business went much worse. In 614, 616 years in Ashkelon there were Persians when the Shah Khosr II Parviz was at war with Heracli. Therefore in 640 the city was rather without blood won by Arabs. It meant decrease in a tax burden for local population, and they didn't resist. In the Battle of Ashkelon, 1099. The last fight of the First Crusade, crusaders under Gottfried of Bulyansky and Raymond Toluski's command broke Egyptians, but as Raymond with Gottfried didn't divide Ashkelon, he remained in hands of Egyptians. In the Battle of Ashkelon, 1153. Upon termination of the Second Crusade, Crusaders under Baldu and I Jerusalem's command took Ashkelon, which population at the time made 12000 people after a seven month siege. In 1187, Salah al Din, having broken Crusaders, Again I returned to Muslims the city, but, receding under the pressure of forces of the Third Crusade, I ordered to destroy it in 1191 not to give to the enemy base and seaport on approaches to Egypt. In 1192 the Lionheart won the city and ordered to restore it immediately. At Crusaders Ashkelon was included into the county of Jaffa and Escalon. In 1260 advanced parties of the Mongolian troops of Fulaguhana occupied Ashkelon and Gaza, and then through Ashkelon there passed the Muslim army Kutuza which broke the Mongolian troops. Finally I destroyed Ashkelon in 1270 by Babers, being afraid that the crusaders who were regularly committing assaults on the city won by Kutuz will manage to return them to themselves and to use port or it will be made by Mongols. See. A Yellow Crusade. Also use them as base for invasion into Egypt as 18 centuries prior to them it was made by Cambus. The Spear. And other options of a legend a sword. Street. Georgie whom he killed a dragon was called. 
in medieval ballads and legends. A scaling by the name of the city of Ashkelon. The Europe city standing on this place till 1948 carried the name El Mazdal. In 1517 he was captured by the Sultan Selim. It is known that in 1596 El Mazdal was the sixth largest city of Palestine with the population 2795. Before World War I and the Ottoman Empire, except the short period in 1799 when the city was occupied by Napoleon owned. In December, 1917, as a result of the Third Battle of Gaza and roundabout maneuver through Beersheba, the city occupied troops of crew of Alenbi. By 1948 his population made about 11000 people. In May 1948, after the beginning of the Arab-Israeli War, Mazdal was busied by the Egyptian troops and became their outpost. At the first stage of fights Egyptians managed to cut off Negev from the main Jewish settlements on the coast and to promote to the north of Mazdal up to Ashid, but in October, as a result of the operation, Yov, on break of blockade of Negev, Egyptians receded. They remained Mazdal's inhabitants. About 1,000 people ran to Gaza. In March 1949, on the place of the village, it was founded the Migdal Guide called in memory of the ancient city of Aini of Yehuda, since 1951 transformed to the urban type settlement of Migdal Ashkelon. In 1955 Migdal Ashkelon and the settlement of Afridar created in 1950 were united in the uniform city centre, Ashkelon. Thus the old name of the city which it carried since the Neolithic before destruction in Babrisim in the 13th century was restored. In recent years when The city is exposed to firings from the Gaza Strip, and very often it is necessary its inhabitants after a signal of air raid warning to go down in air raid shelters. But in April 2011 the Israel Defense Forces installed an anti-missile system the Iron Dome which generally forces down the missiles launched from the sector, marking the place of missile launch, and forcing down her if she can land in the populated territory of Israel. It allowed inhabitants to return to a normal way of life. On May 11, 2021, Hamas and Islamic Jihad launched hundreds of missiles across Ashkelon and Ashid. Therefore, two persons died and more than 90 were wounded. Ashkelon is considered one of the most beautiful cities of Israel. According to the Central Statistical Bureau of Israel, the population for the beginning of 2020 made 144,073 persons. The oldest and poor districts of the city, Shimshan and Givetzion, are located in the southern part of the city. These areas were built up since the beginning of the 50th years of the last century with cheap houses for resettlement of repatriates from the different countries. Most of all, from Morocco and Libya. The program of the Ministry of Construction for providing needy repatriates with social housing carried the name Atikot. Antiquities. And to the north along the coast of the sea, especially the wealthy public lives there. The most prosperous districts of the city, Afridar, occupied substantially by natives of South Africa and the USA, and Barnia where many wealthy French Jews got housing. In total in the city there are nine areas in each of which the public council is elected. In areas of Kakovet Safan and Tuneva de Kalim, being in a northeast part of the city, lives a large number of natives of the Sissus countries. In the city there are many green zones, squares and children's playgrounds. The largest of them, National Park. Lumi Park. 
located on the bank of the Mediterranean Sea. It's at the same time both an enormous recreation area of Ashkelonites and city visitors, and the Peronicheski Reserve in which archaeological excavations are conducted. One of new and beautiful squares of the city located in the place of compact accommodation of natives of the former Usser is called by the name of Iori Stern, the Russian-speaking deputy of the Nesset the importance of the fact. In Ashkelon, the world's largest water desalting plant works. 330,000 M. Slash day. Working at the principle of a reverse osmosis. There is the biggest power plant in Israel which is located on the seashore, has the mooring far from the coast on which bring fuel. Coal. Air pollution is reduced to a minimum thanks to pipes more than 200 meters high where the most part of year stable east wind blows. A network of small and average businesses, shops, bars, restaurants, masterful, architectural and engineering offices and so forth is well developed. In Ashkelon there are two big industrial zones in which about 100 medium-sized enterprises including connected with the latest technologies and about 800 small work. Construction of the new industrial park, especially for the enterprises of high technologies is planned. There is a beer factory of the Carlsberg Company. Located in the southern districts of the city, it was the main purpose of rocket attacks in the city before the operation cast lead. In Ashkelon production capacities of the second and volumes of products of the producer of beer in Israel of the Israel Beer Breweries Company are also placed. The tourist area extends on 12 km along the sea coast. In Ashkelon there are two beaches with lagoons. Here breakwaters were constructed thus. Under a certain corner to the coast. The waves gradually wash tons of sand which form three lagoons. On the embankment of Ashkelon there is a marine on 600 parking places. Directly at an edge of water several restaurants are located, the marine has a children's school of sailing. In proximity from a marine along the coastline and the beach since 2017 the modern recreation area with children's game shells and electronic game tools for children, walking paths, tracks with height difference for bicycles and a board, the park of dinosaurs, a walking zone and numerous cafes and restaurants with solutions of landscaping in the European style is under construction. Construction continues for July 2018. For summer of 2018 the extent of already operated site about 1.5 came. Ancient Ashkelon. The city is more than 40 hundred years old is partially buried under coastal sands, is partially presented by picturesque ruins. The majority of ancient city monuments is in National Park. Here it is possible to wander among ruins of colonnades of Herod and ancient synagogues, on the Roman avenue with a headless statue of Nicaea's goddesses of victory, and on the Roman amphitheater where today modern singers because of exclusive acoustics like to act. The platform is surrounded with a wall of crusaders, and on the sea coast ancient antique columns are visible. Nearby from here in a coastal slope of the beach there is the Roman tomb, a tomb of four of dicks of rich Roman family. On walls and the arches of a tomb it is possible to see the frescoes dated the 3rd century of our era. On frescoes nymphs, young men with grapes clusters in hands, various animals and fruit are represented. Near a tomb of four, the tomb which is dug out in 1993, another district of Ashkelon, dated by the same period. Her interior is also painted with frescoes.
in the territory of the city artifacts of an occupation layer which is located superficially constantly open. So, on December 14, 2011, the sea storm washed away the coast near Holiday Inn Hotel and the statue 120 cs high of Aphrodite made of white marble was found. On January 26, 2012, wind dismantling the shabby building, the ancient marble column in perfect tune is found. Buses are the main public type of transport in the city. With other cities of Ashkelon it is connected by bus traffic and the railroad. The seaside line passes from Ashkelon through Tel Aviv to Nahariya. Since 2015 the railroad connects Ashkelon with Beersheba through Steret and Netavot. There is a palace of culture with the auditorium on 950 places where there take place performances, concerts, exhibitions of the modern art. There is a tennis center with 17 courts, sports palace. In each of 10 residential districts there are public cultural centers. Natnes. In them Kruskavi and club work is conducted. in the city of 19 initial and 9 high schools. The Ashkelon Academic College opened in 1998 as the branch of the Barlansky University, and became independent higher education institution in 2000. Now in a student study, gives the bachelor's rank in the fields of economy, finance, pedagogics and some other. In the nearest future opening of engineering faculty is planned. Mayors. 1956-1965 Eri Tiger. 1965-1972 Rakavya Adivi. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.